Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see what is a JS3. A JS3 stands for Job Entry Subsystem. Okay, the subsystem in mainframe, the main functionality of JS3 is to receive all the jobs from all the users. It is going to prioritize the jobs. It is going to check for JCL errors, JCL syntax errors. We have to follow the coding rule and spelling of every keyword. If there's a JCL error, it is going to notify the user and stop. But if there is no JCL error, it goes to step 4. So what it does, it is going to create all the output files in job step given as new catalog and delete. What does it mean? A job step can have up to 255 steps. A single JCL member can have 255 steps. In every step, you can have multiple files. Suppose we have 100 steps. And all the 100 steps are creating a new file. Every step will create one file with disposition as new catalog delete. So what JS3 does is it is going to create all the files. Even though the job is going to be successful or not, it is going to cre create beforehand. Okay, and that's the reason we give IFBR 14 as the very first step in every procedure and JCL to delete all the subsequent files, whichever have been mentioned as new catalog delete. Okay, so you have noted down this very clearly. So JS3 doesn't know whether job steps are going to get executed successfully or not. It is going to create all the output files which are which are have been mentioned as new catalog delete, and it executes job steps one by one for every JSL member. Okay, once the job steps are executed successfully, it is going to prepare all the output files and then notify the user about the status of job. A status can be either successful, max is 0, it can be an exception like max is 16, 20, 12, etc. It can be an append, either system append or user append. System append means a system append code like, like S806 or user append U4038, etc. So this is what JES does. And as a part of this, JES is going to create few reports, a JES message log, a JS JCL, JS system message. So what does message log contain? It is going to contain the start time and end time of the job. It is going to contain the return code for every step. There could be more than one step. Okay, maximum you can have 255 steps. And maximum return code of all the steps are, is nothing but max CC, maximum condition code. Okay, and then you have, will be having JS JCL, JS JCL contain the JCL submitted by the user along with some substitutions like symbolic parameters and then a JS system message. Some messages which are have been generated as part of execution will be dumped into this DD name in this report. And then for every job step there could be a sysout or a sysprint. If there's a problem in any specific job step you have to go to the corresponding sysout or sysprint to identify what is the error message. So this is what JS does. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video.